Hi, Métis. Today I'm joined by a very special guest on my channel, Professor Susan J. Smith, who is the head of Girton College, which is my college at the University of Cambridge. This is the mistress's last year um, heading Girton College, and she's been doing this for the past 13 years, am I right? No, that's a very long time, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I have the privilege today to have a candid chat with one of Girton's most loved members. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, it's a pleasure. <laughs> so I thought of beginning with a rapid fire round so we can get to know you better. So are you ready? <laughs> as I've as I, as I been. <laughs> okay, so question one. What is your favourite dish from the cafeteria? Yes, thank you. I was thinking about that. Fish and chips. <laughs> Definitely fish and chips. Although... I really go for the mushy peas. Mm, I see, I see. I'm definitely a more hard peas kind of oh, right. <laughs> Tell us about your pets. Oh, well, yes, I, my first pet was a goldfish, which uh -huh. I was very attached to. Ever after that, it's been a cat. Uh -huh. so, quite a long line of cats, ending up with Max, who is a familiar figure, I think, around yeah, the college. Definitely. So, yeah, definitely. If Max could talk, what would he say about you? <laughs> <laughs> he would probably say that I don't give him enough lovely food. <laughs> Because most of the time he goes down to the social hub where apparently oh. he gets chicken. <laughs> Max is quite the pampered cat. Yeah, right? <laughs> what is one of your hidden talents? Yes, uh, interesting question. Um, I think probably most people don't know that I play the sack butt, which is a very early trombone, a narrow bore trombone with a very short uh, bell, which uh, plays 17th century music so wow. maybe most people don't know that I don't know if it's a talent actually probably not but I do try to play it so wow okay and I do know you've played the euphonium Is that's that right? right that's the yeah. modern version right uh, okay. well it's not the modern version of the sack butt but it's a much more modern instrument it's the same length as a sack butt actually it's just wound up in a different way oh yeah. interesting did not know that what is your go-to drink Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? I have to say, Susan on the beach, they <laughs> invented that for me, right? And it is pretty good, pretty good. So for context, we invented this drink called Susan on the Beach for Girton Spring Ball 2022. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. What would students be surprised to know about you? Surprised? Well, they'd probably be very surprised to know that I barely scraped a pass in my maths A level on account okay. of misreading the exam timetable. So oh courage everyone if you've made a mistake. <laughs> it is not irretrievable. Yeah, so what happened? Did you just go late to the I exam? I went late to the exam, oh, yeah, very goodness. late to the exam. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most non mistress thing you did as a mistress? Yes, that's another tricky question, but I think probably the answer is uh, is dancing the can can at one of my um, <laughs> supper parties for students. I think they thought that was quite alarming, but they did all join in, so oh, I, I, I love that. thought it was a good event. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> what does a typical Saturday night look for you? There is nothing typical about any day <laughs> or any night in my in my job. I think all I could say about a Saturday night is uh -huh. it's, it's never free. <laughs> <laughs> so don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> noted, noted. <laughs> what do you think you'd be doing if not being the Girton mistress? Seriously, I'd probably, I'm a, a career academic, so mm -hmm. I'm a geographer. I work on human geography, um, urban development, especially housing. Right. I think probably if I wasn't the mistress, I'd be probably doing that. A bit more research, irritating policymakers probably <laughs> with my ideas. Um, writing, yeah. Cool. How do you show your Girton spirit? <laughs> um, well, I'm not afraid to do things for the first time. And mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely what a college like Girton is, is set up to be. Exactly. Yeah. And I must say, I'm quite a fan of your Instagram page. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't look at that. <laughs> do you have a pet peeve? A pet peeve? Yeah. <laughs> Something I don't much like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fairly adaptable. Um... <laughs> No, I, I can't really think of That's one. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> Do you have one? Hmm. Um, not really, although I think I'm just... Yeah, I think I'd say I'm fairly adaptable as well. I can't yeah. think of one thing that would annoy me so much more than something else. But yeah. yeah there I'm you are. Sure. It's a difficult question, it right? Difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, goodness. Oh, quick gin and tonic before dinner, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I just want people to know that I'm also a fan of non-alcoholic cocktails, just in case I'm giving the wrong impression. And actually at Girton, we always have 
uh, non-alcoholic and alcoholic yeah. uh, drinks yeah. side by side, which yeah. I do think that is a good thing. Good. And I do take advantage of that from time <laughs> to time. I must say, I think my favorite non-alcoholic drink is the elderflower press. Oh, it's beautiful, it's isn't it? It's so, just so lovely. Yeah. 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 What object do you misplace or lose the most? Oh, goodness. My, my glasses, actually. <laughs> I, yeah, I've got about... Uh, I need glasses for reading, as many people do, and they get a bit older. I think I've got about 10 pairs. You know, some I wear for my computer, some for close reading. Yeah. And uh, I can only... I can, sometimes I can't find any of them. So <laughs> it's got to be it's got to be that. And keys. After that, it's keys. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. I lock myself out yeah. way too much yeah. with the Gertrude Auto Lock doors. <laughs> do you have a favourite quote or saying... Oh, well, I do, yes. My, my favourite quote of, or saying comes from a play called Blue Stockings mm-hmm. written by a, a, a great playwright called Jessica Swell, and it's set here at Girton. Uh-huh. And it's about the um, a really big vote that happened in 1897, so nearly 30 years after the College for Women wow, was okay. founded. And it was a vote in Cambridge about whether those women should finally get their degrees. Mm -hmm. And there was a massive vote against the women, two to one against. So all these women doing brilliantly, passing all their exams. No, you can't have your degrees. And in this play, one Girton student turns to the other and said, at Girton, we don't get buffeted by the wind. We change its course. And I think that is a fantastic motto. And uh, for women everywhere, that should be our motto. Don't get buffeted by the wind change its course, make the world different. That really did give me goosebumps. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? It really, really is. Well, yeah, that's the end of the rapid fire, so I hope you had fun with that. Okay, great fun, (laughs) yes.